working out man seriously seriously this is every day for me every day every day of every day i'm hustling <laughs> but now nah, like real talk though seriously every day i'm working on something so working on something oh, man, i'm a little shiny i'm a little shiny got that new glisten got that new glow all right come on let's look back through some of these uh what's up what's up Devonte? darren scenes cold cold Go off, go off, man. I'm trying to. What's good, Mr. Spoon? I'm chilling, bro. What's up? What's up? Mr. Red, what's up? What's up? What's up? Chino Hills in the house. Um, I want to join Carrie's camp, but COVID messing my money. Listen, I understand that. We still gonna be here. So when your money gets straight, man, just come join the camp, man. Come join, come join the camp. Come join the camp. Hello from Jacksonville, Florida. That's what's up. Uh, does your left hand hurt sometimes after you play a while? No. Um this guy is my guitar teacher, and he's always killing. I appreciate that, Paul. Appreciate that, Paul. Please play the chords. I did play the chords. Um, that's my my loop. I made it. <laughs> hey, I use your videos um, with my students. That's what's up. What it is? Chilling, man. Chilling, chilling, chilling. I try to do. This is. I try to do the same, but my wife be killing me. Listen, my wife just understands. I mean, this is. When we met, I was playing professionally. You know what I mean? This is kind of like the, it comes with the territory. You know what I mean? NC in the house. Yeah, cool. Finally bought your camp. Can't wait to, to get half as good as you. That's what's up. That's what's up. Do you switch your pickups in mid-play like, with the strat? It just depends. But nine times if I'm already on the bridge, I'm not, I'm not switching. If I'm in overdrive, I'm not switching. Uh... Cool, cool. What's up, man? I just want to check in with y'all, man. See how y'all doing? You know, it's like, it's it's Tuesday. I figured I'd just surprise y'all. It's a different time, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. Um, 
the bad cat links is marked up as a high gain amp. There's two channels on the on the amp brand, and so like the second channel, of course, is a high gain, but the first channel just clean. So that's what I use. So I use channel one. I'm gonna try to sound like that. Yo, Warren, listen, you could definitely do it. It's all everything that I play and that I teach. It's all in the camp, bro. I show everything. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't sway for nothing. And I've been adding a couple of different lick ideas um, in the camp that I, um, I sent to my team so that way they can upload. So you about to have some new heat you can add to your repertoire. I just started watching your channel and learning the shapes you teach, um, but how to prevent the hand cramping. So Paul, you're gonna have to work, man. Like regardless, you just gonna have to work through it. So you have to get you like either a tennis ball or one of those little squeezing little instruments or machines or whatever and just squeeze. You gotta, you gotta build that muscle up. Cramping is part of the, the, the growth, you know what I mean? South Carolina's in the house, that's what's up. Yo, question, how do you approach uh, church and shop music? So Devonte, if you become a camper, if you look inside of the Gospel Masterclass, I, I talk about that all the time. I talk about how to do that. So go to carriescamp.com, become a member, uh, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com, and I talk about shout music. Um, good day, Vincent. Good day. Good day. <laughs> this two-piece Tuesday at Popeye. For sure, for sure. Definitely. I'm in the camp. I practice, 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 practice. I'm telling you, you're not going to get this good overnight. You're going to have to practice. That's like Jordan. Everybody that plays sports, you're just not going to up and just become good. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. So Andy Smith, what's up? What's up, campers? He said, what's up? Uh, just signed up for the camp. Yo, it's worth every penny. That's what's up. Uh, do you know Audio Anthem, the producer? No, nah, I don't think I know him. Or her. I don't want to be, I don't know that person. I want to be specific. How does the um, PR sound with the new pickups? So I just went and got them installed today. So the guitar won't be ready for a couple of days. So I won't know. But it's going to sound sweet because I use the same cremas in my Les Paul when I'm doing a lot of session work. So I ain't worried. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried. And one of my favorite strats, not the one I was just playing, but the other one has the crema in the bridge. And that's what I use whenever I'm soloing on albums. That's what I normally use. Is Carrie Camp worth it? Hands down, it's worth it. And I'm not just one of these guys that's trying to tell you just because I'm trying to upsell it, but like Carrie's Camp is worth every penny. Like you're not going to get this type of hands on training and understanding of how to play and unlock the fretboard from any other site. You're not going to get the ability to have something called Carrie's Corner where we talk, we sit and we talk with all the guitarists or majority of the guitarists that play for a lot of major artists that are like sometimes your social media influencers. You're not going to get that. You're not going to get the hands on monthly Q&A where I answer all your questions and I help you out grow. You're just not going to get that from any other site. So Carrie's Camp is worth every penny. Uh, so them Lambertones sound good. They sound great. That's what I have in this guitar, the strat I was just using. So listen to this. Listen. <laughs> Listen, like that's Lambertone pickups. I'm telling you, and that's in that strat I was just playing and you heard me playing Overdrive at the beginning. So yeah, Lambertone is where it's at. Uh, great guitar playing, appreciate it. Oh yeah, I still don't know if you did the guitars for Big Sean and Travis Scott. Yeah, I still don't know him, but I'll check them out though. Uh, do, 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 do. Do you teach the number system? Yes, Kendra, I definitely do. So if you go to Carrie's Camp and you sign up and you become a member, you'll see I talk specifically about the number system and it really helps you to unlock the fretboard. Have you ever had trouble carrying your gear around when you're playing shows without a crew? Uh, I travel light, bro. Like That's why I'm working on a new pedal board now. So you see those boxes? Uh, I don't know how to do it. Those boxes over there, I'm working on a smaller smaller pedal board. I like to travel light, so I don't have to worry about those issues with carrying gear. I used to, one of these guys would carry, you see that big old pellet in case like in the back right there, right? <sighs> the thing is like 60 pounds, it's heavy. It's, it's like it's big and bulky. And so it's just, it's frustrating to try to carry that around. So I'm, I learned how to travel light, condense what I need, make it simple because usually like it's like a spot date, you're on and off unless you're doing a tour then I might carry that big old spaceship. But if I'm just a spot date, man, I need a small setup that sounds great in and out and then I'm done. You know what I mean? Any recommendations for your first pedal setup? Uh, yeah, so you need a tuner, you need um, reverb, you need um, overdrive, and then I say the de delay. 
What are your four top pedals? Um, I've heard great things about the Eventide H9, so I would say that. Um, you need a great tuner. You need a good overdrive. Um, and then a good delay pedal. But the Eventide can do all of that um, except for the overdrive stuff. How do you lay behind the beat? I like slugging and stuff. It says seems important. Appreciate you. So your timing, you got to count. So one, two, three, four, and then like play a chord. So you got to work on that time. If you're not working on that timing, it's not going to feel right. So placement is everything. You know what I mean? So heck yeah, it's worth it. Uh, it's from a professional guitar. And that's from a professional. Yeah, definitely. Just let them know. Warren, let the people know. Uh, do you use any guitar Processors uh, right now currently no, but uh, I plan on um, buying the Eventide. I'm, I just bought a Core and I'm gonna get the Max, so the way I have two Maxes, and that's kind of what I'll use. So that's kind of like the situation. Guys, you gotta sign up for Carrie's Camp. It's worth every penny. Look at Andy Smith. I told y'all. <laughs> is your church looking for a keyboard player? Nah, actually the keyboard player is the is the musical director. So nah, they're not looking for a key player right now. But I appreciate that. I appreciate that. What artist should I listen to hear the type of music you play? Uh, you could listen to Jacquees. You could listen to any other artists. I mean, uh, in most R&B artists, I've, I've done a lot of stuff or I've worked with, you know what I mean? So it's really anything. Uh, do you play bass? Um, I play bass only for sessions, but I'm not a bass player, if that makes any sense. Techniques uh, for getting good R&B tones on DAWs. Uh, placement that's the best technique so like even here like if you listen to this track right so the first one oh, so that's the second one so this is the first part timing so regardless of whatever so let's just do this so two three four one two so you want to find a good R&B metronome so like an R&B like beats per measure so I like 66 anywhere from 66 to like 80 ish is kind of cool you know what I mean so like I'm two three for then layering your chords the first patch you know the first four bars whatever then I want to go to the next one Everything is all about layering and texture. So like you, it's so important whenever you're playing, especially you're producing or you're like coming up with different things is layering and textures. If the layering and textures is not right, then it's not gonna sound or feel a certain kind of way. So that's super important. You know what I mean? Uh, do, 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 do. Are you using the, the, I'm using the 112. So the Lynx is the head, I'm using a 112 12 cab. That's all I need. Brandon for the Bad Cat Lynx. Uh, do you EQ your DI or do you usually run through it through an amp? So if I'm playing live, I, I never use a DI unless I'm using electric, I mean acoustic. Um, I'm always like to my amp and then I do XLR outs to the front of the house and I let the engineer do that. Now when I'm arranging and producing stuff, then depending on how the guitar sounds, I have everything kind of set with my preamp on my ME80 and then I may adjust some of the frequencies, but I'm not, I leave that really to the, the artist and whatever engineer they have on station. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is it easier to play with the click? Yes, because that keeps your timing because nobody has an internal metronome that's that solid. But yeah, that's what, that's what you got to do. So even playing on slug, playing behind the beat is super important. They always have to play on a metronome. That's why the rhythm and the things feel the, the way that they do. Even when you're listening on stage, everybody has a metronome. So that's what you do. Yes, um, layering is expanded in Carrie's camp. For a beginner, where should I start? Um, I know some chords. So Reggie, uh, if you're a beginner, especially if you're in part of the carries camp, you should look at the roadmap. The roadmap's gonna definitely show you where you need to go because I don't know where your areas of weaknesses are. Like if you know a couple chords, I don't know how strong you are in those chords. And I don't know which chords you know. I don't know if you know just open chords, do you know bar chords? Like I need to know more specifically, you know, do you know how to play your scales? Do you know the number system? You know, all of those things work hand in hand. So it's really important for you to know, you know what I'm saying? Look, I would definitely recommend Carrie Scan. Listen, the people are speaking. You gotta, you gotta listen to the folks, man. They're telling you what's up. They're telling you what's up. So, 
Cool. I just wanted to hop on here really quickly, man. I'm gonna take a couple more questions and then I gotta get up out of here because I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta work on some music, you know. Uh, where to get a good metronome? You can download um, a metronome on your phone. There's plenty of apps that have cool metronomes or if you're playing like on whatever kind of DOS would have um, a metronome. Do you dig Red Hands? I think Red Hands is super dope. Yo, they got a really cool, like the way that they kind of like modernize and kind of make, you know, quartet music feel really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm messing with Red Hands. I just purchased a steel string pedal um, from watching you play on it. Uh, dude, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Reggie. You are welcome. Just joined Carrie's camp. Sweet. Uh, what's a good gospel song to learn? I need to know your skill level before I can suggest a good gospel song. I mean, Praise Him in Advance by Marvin Sapp is super dope. I mean, I love that song. What's your favorite go-to effects on your DAWs? I don't use um, effects um, on my DAW. That's why I use like the Boss Me 80 that allows me to do the effects. So all the effects come from me. I don't use the DAWs effects. Uh, do you like... Is do you like you play behind the drums? It just depends on the type of song that I'm doing. It's like there are certain kind of vibes that I will play behind the drums, but if not, then I'm usually trying to be on the one. You know what I'm saying? I already have LaChaz on that's coming on. I talked to LaChaz like two days ago. So LaChaz will be on, I believe he's gonna be in February. But yeah, I already talked to LaChaz. LaChaz is gonna be, I think, February 13th. Um, so yeah, he's gonna be on. So Brittany already got him locked in. What do we get overall in Carrie's camp that you think is the most that's most unique? Okay, let's just break it down. So the way that I teach is in such a way that anybody can learn how to play. Secondly, um, there's a myriad of bonuses that you're not going to get from any other site. Um, even the video chord library by itself, understanding what kind of chords I use, what the voicings are, the names of the chords is something hands down that you probably won't get from any other site. Lick library, um, master classes from other guitarists, whether you're trying to learn just R&B, neo, solo R&B um, or gospel, to having Carrie's Corner, understanding that we're, having, we're sitting at the feet of other guitarists that are at the level that we want to get. Like you just saw Brittany just suggest that, oh, you should get LaChaz Holloway. We already have the jazz that's going to be on schedule to, to speak to the students. You're not going to get that from any other site. I don't care who they are and how they teach or what, who they know. They're not doing this. So there's so many benefits and so much more in Carrie's Camp. That's why people are on right now saying, like, yo, you should definitely sign up because it's worth the money. And, and I'm always looking out for my students, right? So those that are signed up, you know, you have, I think you have until like, was it Sunday or Monday? If you sign up and you want to be a part of the guitar giveaway, I'm giving away a PRS Fiore. That's which is Mark Letary's signature guitar. Like you don't get that from any other people. And I ain't, like I'm not trying to be like you know no shading against anybody else, but nobody else is giving you a guitar that's that nice at that quality. A guitar that the instructor wants. I want the guitar myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying it because it's a PRS. I'm just saying because it it's it's that dope. I even listened today. I didn't even realize that the two tone knobs are push pull. Like I was watching another video of Mark today. This guitar is a beast, I'm telling you so. Like, I mean, Carrie's Camp is where it's at. So I'm just saying, like, you should definitely come on. And you get live monthly Q&As where I sit and I answer all the questions and I help you out specifically. That's just not gonna happen. You know what I mean? Listen, the people like straight up facts, Carrie's Camp is awesome. Listen, I'm just telling y'all, you know what I mean? Just letting y'all know. Carrie's Camp is great. Carrie's Camp is the truth. He ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it. Everyone go sign up for Carrie's Camp. It's the best thing you can do as a guitar player. Listen, the people are trying to tell y'all. Um, you ever play Lofty Pedals? Uh, I don't think I've ever played them. I don't think I've ever played them. Um, I'm about to get shredded. Me too. Thanks a million. Sweet, sweet. Um, or just a favorite effect in general from laying down chord progression. I, so listen, whenever I'm playing... I'm always playing clean. I may have a little bit of reverb on, but I don't do any effects. I don't like that chorus. I don't like any other effects. Now, whatever engineer may get my guitar work afterwards, if, depending on the artist, may see it and hear something different, but usually I see my guitar is dry. I don't put anything else on it because that's how I like it. And it just depends on what the, you know, the producer or the artist hears when they, when they get it. They may do whatever they want to do it. 
So if you have a question about how much carry scam costs, please, please email support at carry2smooth.com because there's so much stuff that happens on the live and I'm not sure who I'm talking to and I don't want to miss anything. So if you could do that, that would be a great help to me. Um, does a beginner stand a chance in the contest? Heck yeah. If you follow what is needed in the in the description of the frequently asked questions, definitely, you don't have to be experienced. I say that again, for the giveaway, you could be brand new, like you just picked up the guitar yesterday and still win. It just depends. So you just got to follow the instructions. If you can follow instructions and you can do exactly what I'm asking for, then you can win. Uh, what are your thoughts on guitars with giant pedal boards? Um, you do what's best for you. You do what works for you. Like I, I, I'm a guy who likes to travel light. Now, when I'm on tour, I, I do like a bigger pedal board because it allows me to do more. And then it just depends on the assignment of what's asked for you as a guitar player. If you're only asked to play a distortion every now and then, why do you need a big old spaceship? If you're only playing distortion every now and then, or you're playing a couple pedals or a couple sounds. Now, if you're asked to do a lot and you need all that stuff, by all means, use all that stuff. But those days of like you having to do all that stuff, it just depends on what artist you're playing for. It may not be necessary. You know what I mean? Do you humidify your guitars in the wintertime? Yeah, I have a humidifier that I, I put in here. I want to be a part I've been following you for a while. Well, if you've been following me for a while, if you're a camper, you have to be a camper. It's not the free trial. You have to be a camper. You have until the 31st. You have to be a legit camper and sign up. How long should you practice a day? Uh, that's uh, everybody's opinion is completely different. Like, so for me, like, I practice until I have it, and right now I'm practicing songs. So, like, Roderick, if you want to become a camper, go to carryscamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P.com, and sign up. What's your favorite overdrive pedal? Right now, it's going to be the Sunset by Strymon. That's going to be my new favorite overdrive pedal because that's the one I'm going to be using. It's in, one of those pedals is in that box back there. Uh, do you do R&B vocal lessons? Nah, I can't. I, I don't do that. Now, I help vocal produce, but I'm not a vocal. Like, I don't do vocal sessions. Like, I can tell the singer, like, nah, I don't do it right here. You should stack these or you should do this. That's what I'll tell. You know what I mean? So... Um, how do you like living in A? I love it. It's, it's straight. It's cool for me. And are you performing here anytime soon? I'm not performing um, anytime soon. Um, if you want to come check me out, you can hear me play at church. I played the Face Center. Um, I just started playing there. But like as far as outside performances right now, nothing is on the books. Got you. Thanks. Cool, cool. Cool. All right, I'm going to take a few more questions and then I'm going to get ready to head on out. I said, I've noticed hip hop and rap have really utilized the guitar in their songs more lovely. Love to see it. It's true. It's true. I've played on so many different like hip hop records and I've sent so many guitar loops and samples and, and that kind of stuff. I think people are just looking for more like instruments and guitar is one of those instruments that can kind of transcend a whole bunch of different stuff. How did you learn to play guitar? Of course, um, I took lessons and then it was just like on the job training, if you want to call it that. Paul, you're a camper. That's what's up, dude. That's what's up. Yo, if you're brand new to this channel, please go and subscribe because I need y'all to do that. And then like click the bell to be notified because I will be hopping on here from time to time. Would you re recommend a Fender player strat? Uh, whatever is in your budget and whatever feels good to you, that's what I would recommend. Most important scale to learn is that I feel like is the major scale because that unlocks so much potential for you. Uh, can you rock, dude? I've been a fan for a long time. Uh, can't. Yeah, I can definitely rock. Definitely. Any advice for a beginner songwriter uh, who's never written a song? Make sure your melody is catchy because if other people can hum the song, then it's, it's something that will stick around for a long time. Thank you for your valuable information. Stay blessed. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So Warren, if you want to ask that question, please um, email support at carry2smooth.com so I can make sure I, I know who specifically who asked that question. Did you start out in church? Yes, I started in church when I was like 11. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Yep, started out in church. Can you have some maze? Yeah, you can download it. <laughs> Remains right there. <laughs> uh, how long have you been playing, man? Well over 25 years, man. Uh, best guitar for short fingers and small hands. Uh, one that fits properly. I mean, I, we have to go try them out. That's the best thing I could tell you. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite. Um, who's your favorite guitar artist? Uh, it would be me. I'm my favorite. I love, I love me. I love what I do. <laughs> Can you play three chords the rest of your life? You can only play three chords the rest of your life. What are they? Man, I have no idea. I'm sorry if the question is outside of your profession, but I actually would uh, like to be an R&B singer. It says, I'm not from the U.S. So if you want to become an R&B singer, there's plenty of ways to do it, right? So, but... We, people got to hear what you sound like so nobody can really just assess you. And then honestly, like there's so much uh, when it comes to being an R&B artist, like it depends on what level you want to be at. Do you want to be a big time? Do you want to just do local stuff? It's just so many different levels of how it works. You know what I mean? So. What pedals do you use? It just depends. I use different kinds of pedals, so it just depends. Love you guys. It's been great. It's been real. It's been fun. Man, you sound good. God bless. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. What's your favorite uh, go-to progression? Uh, I don't have a favorite. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a Strymon pedal. They're the bomb. Sweet, sweet. How is too old to start playing? There's never an age that's too old to start playing. Every time I'm on YouTube, you pop up. That's what's up. That's what's up, Paige. That's what's up. <laughs> Yo, uh, how do you practice staying on time with beats beyond using a metronome? You can pat your foot. You can sing the lyrics to the song. You're like, you know what I mean? There's a whole bunch of different ideas and concepts you can do. Yo, please show your support and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell to be notified because I will hop on here from time to time and do these things. All right, love you guys. I'm gonna play y'all out. Give y'all a little bit of R&B sauce.
I'm just being stupid. I love y'all, man. Bye. Have a good one.